What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost and the new trailer for Fantastic Beast: The Secrets of Dumbledore just dropped, but all anyone can talk about is Johnny Depp because fans are furious that Johnny Depp is not in this movie. And they're saying that we have no interest in seeing this movie after what you did to Johnny Depp by canceling him. Warner Brothers bending the knee to the woke mob and firing Johnny Depp, recasting him with Mads Mikkelsen. You can see the headlines here. Johnny Depp fans upset after Fantastic Beast trailer with new Grindelwald after his firing. And it's true, more people are talking about Johnny Depp than they are about this trailer. And that should be a problem if you're Warner Brothers. Now, I am, uh, I'm a big Harry Potter fan. I love the books when they came out. I was pretty much the right age, the target age for them and kind of was able to grow up with them as I read them. And I thought they did a fine job with most of the movies, made a lot of changes at some points, but for the most part, I think they did a pretty good job. Haven't been a big fan of the Fantastic Beast series, but there are a lot of people who really are and a lot of people who love Johnny Depp's portrayal of Grindelwald. A lot of people would say that's the highlight of these movies and they were looking forward to this upcoming movie until he got fired and canceled from Warner Brothers because of the woke mob, because of some hit piece articles, because of some allegations from Amber Heard. When you look back at it and you see all the things that Amber Heard has done, all the things that came out in court, they have a lot of reason. If they're going to fire Johnny Depp, you have to do it equal. You have to also get rid of Amber Heard. But they didn't do that. In fact, they did exactly the opposite of that. That's why so many people are furious with the way that this went down. And that's why he's trending on Twitter. And that's why so many Many people are talking about this. The trailer to Fantastic Beasts and the Secrets of Dumbledore premiered on Monday, giving us our first look at Mads Mikkelsen as Gellert Grindelwald. Mikkelsen took over the role after Depp was fired in November of 2020 when he lost a defamation lawsuit related to his alleged uh, physical, we're not going to say that word, of his ex-wife. Depp's fans were upset by the new trailer and many vowed to boycott this movie. And that's the entire thing. He lost a defamation lawsuit against a, uh, against a publication, right? Um, to try to sue them for defamation, which is incredibly hard to win, by the way, incredibly hard to win. And because he lost that, Warner Brothers treated that as if it were just facts that something had happened, which is absolutely insane and ridiculous. And it would be one thing if they applied the same standard equally, but they did not do that. They kept Amber and they dropped Johnny Depp. And it was, it's cancel culture, definitively. That's what it is. And Johnny Depp has spoke at length about this a lot, about cancel culture and the impact that it has had on his life. Fantastic Beast Secrets of Dumbledore facing an uphill battle between recasting the outcry against author J.K. Rowling's transphobic comments. We're going to talk about that as soon as I get that video monetized, YouTube. Hello. That's taking forever because we know what YouTube's trying to do to this channel. They're trying to suppress it, but uh, they just can't. We're just going to keep rocking and rolling no matter what these people try to do. If I have to wait three days for a video to get monetized, that's how long it's going to take. But anyway, moving on. Since the last installment of the Harry Potter spinoff franchise, franchise came out, Rowling has been fiercely outspoken. Well, let's get back to Johnny Depp. Let's get back to how upset people are about this. And uh, here's the trailer. Fantastic Beast isn't the same without Johnny Depp. We're not going to watch this entire thing because I, I honestly really don't have too much interest in that. But I did want to show you the first look that we had at Grindelwald. I think it's right around here. Grindelwald's pulling it up. There you go. There's Grindelwald. And if you if you remember the look and the difference between what Johnny Depp looked like as Grindelwald, very unique. It stood out a lot. And this Mads Mikkelsen. Now I like Mads Mikkelsen. Uh, I think he's a, I think he's a good actor. I think he's a great villain as well. This is not. Uh, although this is like just like generic random villain person. It's not what they had established as Grindelwald. So a very strange look to go for. Part with hate. If we're to defeat him, you'll have to trust me. I don't really get that. And we did get another look uh, a little bit later as well. Yeah, right here. Oh, whoa, with the muckles. There you go. Uh, he's also in this little vat right here. Again, uh, it would look fine, I guess, if that's how Johnny Depp had looked, but that's not really how Johnny Depp had looked. Uh, Johnny Depp will always be our Grindelwald. Someone else says hashtag justice for Johnny Depp. The trailer for that movie came out and people are talking more about Johnny Depp than the movie itself. It's really Johnny Depp's world. We're just living in it. 
Um, and here you go. And a lot of them in Spanish as well. Very good. Uh, the Fantastic Animals trailer. It's obviously the translation. But Johnny Depp is second to none like Grindelwald. There's Johnny Depp as Grindelwald. Very unique style and look for Johnny Depp, obviously, compared to what Mads Mikkelsen and what they're going for there. But if you look at Twitter, if you just scroll through the responses, it is just on and on and on about Johnny Depp. The world owes an apology to Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp is my Grindelwald. You can see here a lot of, obviously, different pictures of Johnny Depp as Grindelwald. A lot of people talking about when he came and made that appearance in character as Grindelwald and kind of just lit everybody up. Uh, and he's always been so good about that type of thing as well as an actor. Johnny Depp is trending because people will not be silent in the face of the Warner Brothers injustice for firing the survivor of abuse while still employing Amber Heard. Time for Warner Brothers to be held accountable for the egregious decision. And uh, we also have some here. What's this? You see Johnny's Grindelwald and you see the new who the movie's villain is. Instead, you see Mads and he seems like one more magician from Newt's gang. I'm sorry, Mads. All my respect, but you just don't convince me here. Hashtag secrets of Dumbledore. Hashtag justice for Johnny Depp. And uh, Johnny Depp is just yet another victim of cancel culture. There's no other way to spin it. He was. Whether you think, if you do think that maybe some of his conduct deserved for him to be canceled and fired, whatever, but the difference is you can't sit there and say with a straight face that there's not a lot of other stuff there with Amber Heard that has just not been addressed by Warner Brothers at all. There is a double standard, which is really the problem. Whenever we talk about any of this cancel culture stuff, it ends up being a double standard. Whether this one is for men and women, whether it's for political views in the case of Disney and Gina Carano, over and over and over again, we see this different treatment for different people. People, these double standards, that is really the problem. And obviously, people aren't going to take it sitting down when it comes to Johnny Depp. Will this affect the movie? I have no idea about that. But I do know that people aren't going to forget about this, and they're not going to let it go. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Do you think that Johnny Depp deserved to be, to to be fired for what happened to him? Do you think that double standard should have occurred? Or do you think Amber Heard should have gone right along with him? Or do you think they should both just stay employed? Uh, that's kind of where I'm at in it. I think both of them should just be able to continue their careers, no problem. That's where I'm at. But there's no doubt there's massive, massive backlash for the Fantastic Beast franchise because they fired Johnny Depp. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.